Hello, welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are pleased to present the second set of practice questions for medical first aid refresher course. Loss of body heat is called as hypothermia, frostbite, dehydration, or none of the above. The correct answer is A, hypothermia. Dressings and pads should be removed when blood soaked. New ones should then be applied. Are used to help control bleeding and keep germs out. Are not included in a first aid kit. Should be applied to a sucking chest wound. Of all these, the correct answer is B. Are used to help control bleeding and keep the germs out. Wounds that may require stitches are over an inch long, bleeding from an artery or uncontrolled bleeding, human or animal bites, or all of the above. The stitches may be required on all the above types of wounds. So answer is D, all of the above. If a crew member has a head injury, it's possible that who has had a concussion, who falls, all of the above, none of the above. The answer is two. Bandages are used for applying directly to a wound to soak up blood. To hold dressings in place, apply pressure and control bleeding, ease the pain or small cuts only. Bandages are used to hold dressings in place, apply pressure and control bleeding. So the answer is B. When caring for victim with bloody nose, you would not apply an ice pack to the bridge of the nose, apply pressure to upper lip just beneath the nose, have the victim sit with head tilted backwards while pinching the nostrils together or have the victim sit with head tilted forward while pinching the nostrils together. Please look at the question carefully. It says, what is it that you would not do? So it's not do. What you would not do is answer C. Have the You would not like to have the victim sit with head tilted backwards and pinching the nostrils together. So please read the questions carefully. If you see a crew member having an electric shock, immediately remove the crew with your bare hands. Isolate the circuit immediately. Repair the electric machinery before attending to the crew or none of the above. Obviously answer is to isolate the circuit immediately. That is answer E. You should ask the crew if he or she is okay before performing CPR. True, false, all the above, none of the above. The answer is true. When caring for a victim who has an object impaled in their hand, you should remove the object, flush with cool water and transport to hospital. Immobilize the object by placing several dressings around it. Break object off where it sticks out and bandage the injury or none of the above. The answer is B. Immobilize the object by placing several dressings around it. Which of the below is not a symptom of shock? Not a symptom. Strong thirst, nausea or vomiting. Chest or abdominal pain breathing difficulty, restless or irritability, rapid breathing or rapid pulse. Of these, what is not a symptom of shock is the chest or abdominal pain, breathing difficulty. So answer is B. You have a casualty who has recently banged their head against a filing cabinet. They feel sick, giddy and have a headache. What might be wrong with them? 
they are drunk they may be suffering from concussion they may be suffering from a stroke or they may be poisoned by food well in such a case there is a high chance of the patient or the casualty suffering from concussion so the answer is b the digestive system is the body's breathing system the body's system of nerves the body's food processing system the body's blood transporting system i'm sure all of us would agree it's the food processing system so answer is c heat stroke causes very high body temperature hot red and dry skin rapid weak pulse shallow breathing all of the above all the above a b c are all symptoms of heat stroke so answer is d all of the above when giving care for external bleeding what should you do first elevate the injury apply direct pressure apply a loose dressing apply a tourniquet the answer is the first action is apply direct pressure answer b elastic bandages are used for controlling the bleeding to control swelling and support injuries such as sprains or strains to allow circulation to a severed limb or when applying a splint elastic bandages are used to control swelling and support injuries such as sprains and strains so answer is b a first degree burn involves only the top layer of the skin is red and blistered destroys all layers of skin is the most serious of all the burns obviously the answer is a involves only the top layer of the skin hypothermia is not life threatening victim must be heated up as fast as possible is caused by exposure to temperature below freezing can be caused by swimming in cold waters of these the best answer is hypothermia can be caused by swimming in cold waters because the exercise will lead to loss of body temperature and could trigger hypothermia when caring for a victim who has large burn on their forearm you should use large amounts of cool water to cool the burn use ice or ice water to cool the burn remove any cloth that has stuck to the burn and apply the burn cream all of the above the correct answer is a use large amounts of cool water to cool the burn when caring for someone who has suffered an electric burn you would not please note you would not check breathing and pulse check for possible fractures cool the burnt area or treat for shock the answer is you would not cool the burnt area you should suspect that a victim has head or spine injuries or an accident involving a lightning strike a person found unconscious for unknown reasons a fall from a height greater than the victim height all of the above all the above could lead to head and spine injuries so answer is d all of the above when caring for a shipmate who is suffering from heat cramps apply cold packs give cool water or a rehydrating drink let him keep walking slowly to work the cramps out or massage the muscle vigorously to increase circulation the correct answer is to rehydrate the person by giving cool water or a rehydrating drink what do you do for a chemical burn flush with water dry up and cover flush with large amounts of water and cover flush with large amounts of warm water 
until further help arrives. Flush with large amounts of cool water until further help arrives. For chemical burn, the best action would be to flush with large amounts of cool water until the further help arrives. What symptoms are associated with heat exhaustion? Cool, moist, pale or flushed skin. Rapid, weak pulse. Rapid, shallow breathing or all of the above. The answer is A. It's cool, moist, pale or flushed skin which is associated with heat exhaustion. When caring for someone who is suffering from a frostbite, you should not. Soak affected part in warm water. Rub vigorously until skin appears red and feels warm. Handle area gently. Avoid breaking blisters. What you should not do is B. That is, you should avoid rubbing vigorously until skin appears red and feels warm. Signals of head and spine injuries are blood or other fluids in the ears or nose, unusual bump or depressions on the head or over the spine, has seizures, severe headache or slurred speech, both A and B. The signals of head or spine injuries include both A and B. So the answer is B. That is blood or other fluids in the ear or nose as well as unusual bumps or depressions on the head or over the spine. They could be signals for the spine injuries. A crew member has a severe cut in the groin area. What do you do? Cover the wound with a sterile dressing, apply direct pressure. Elevate the feet, apply sterile dressing to the wound and apply pressure to the groin area. Wash with cold water or cover the wound with sterile dressing and apply pressure to the femoral artery. The answer is A. Cover the wound with sterile dressing, applying direct pressure. Snake bites can be very serious. When caring for a snake bite victim on a timber carrier, which of the below should you not do? Wash wounds, apply ice, keep bitten part still and below the heart, get radio medical advice. Please read the question carefully. What you should not do is B, that is application of ice. What would you do if a victim had a body part torn or cut off? Wrap the severed body part in a sterile gauge. Place it in a plastic bag. Put the plastic bag in ice and take it to the hospital with the victim or all of the above. All A, B, C are the actions to be taken to deal with a part which may have been cut off and it needs to be preserved and taken to the hospital following steps as enumerated in A, B and D, so answer is D. What is more serious? Heat stroke, heat exhaustion, heat cramps or heat rashes. Of all these four, the most serious is the heat stroke. So answer is A. Shock is a condition where the respiratory system fails to deliver air to the lungs. The cardiovascular system fails to deliver blood to the heart. The circulatory system fails to deliver blood to all parts of the body. All of the above. Shock is a condition where the circulatory system lets the patient down. So its answer is C. The circulatory system fails to deliver blood to all parts of the body. Well, we come to end of the second set for MFA refresher exit exam. Hope you will find the, this uh, set of questions useful. Thank you for watching Marine Gurukul video series. If you want to get automatic notification for our new releases, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching Marine Gurukul video series.